I would like to show you how to use a method described in this paper uh, to segment images containing soil and vegetation regions. The method is a statistics-based segmentation uh, using a continuous scale uh, naive base uh, classifier. If you would like to, to use this method, you can go to our GitHub site and download the information or the source code from there. It is a MATLAB script and after having downloaded that um, that uh, package, you'll have a directory uh, like this, where you have a file giving an example usage of uh, how to use the script. I'll just open it in, in MATLAB so you can see how it is structured. The example is uh, shown over here. And in addition to that, you also have uh, all the underlying scripts. These are uh, available on the scripts folder. And we have also provided a few training images. One of these, an image of, uh, of some sugar beets on a white sandy soil, we will try to use as a training image and see how well we can segment, segment that afterwards. But uh, first of all, we make a copy of that image and give it a new name. I'll just name it training image annotated. Then I open it in the image editor to um, to adjust some of the, the output levels. And we do that because we use a full white or full black regions in this annotated image to indicate uh, where we have uh, vegetation and, and soil. So a full white, I'm adjusting the output levels, a full white in this image will mark vegetation and a full black will mark soil. So first we uh, make sure that there are no full white or full black. Uh, parts of, of this image and afterwards we take uh, a pencil and then we can make some uh, lines or mark some of the soil regions in the image and based on that we we will train the, the classifier to to distinguish with between these two classes so now I have uh, annotated a few pixels of the background and I'll just do something similar on the foreground or the vegetation parts. When I'm done with that I will go to file and then just overwrite the, the image. So far so good. I'll just close these uh, directories. Afterwards I can uh, try to, to run this uh, program. Initially, we just set some paths to, to the use scripts. Then we describe where the, um, the files are present, so we can load them and so on. In this step, we train a classifier based on, uh, on two images. The original training image using full color information and the annotated uh, training image that just marks in which location of the original image should I take training samples. And finally, we apply the classifier uh, we have generated in the earlier step to the training image and then save it as a segmented image. That should be present here. And when we open this image, we can now see how it means uh, that the image should be segmented. At first it looks like it, it has done a, a decent job, but there are some regions where the segmentation is not perfectly, but that might be, be caused by a, a lack of some of the features or color features we are looking at, or a lack of uh, training data. One thing to do could be to use additional color features for the segmentation. I can go into the Calculate Color Features 
function um, and see which features we are supported directly and all the feature names are given down here and then I can try to, to use an additional set of features if I want to so I will try to activate feature number 10 and 4, 5 and 6 just to see if it uh, makes a difference like this and then we just try to, to run the segmentation or the training part and the segmentation once more so in a moment we will see what happens to, to this image and hopefully it will be better segmented it was just reloaded here and it is better but not very much so so you also need to to figure out exactly which features are worth looking at and which just contains noise but that's not a part of the the algorithm but it's a part of the the user's job to, to use it as effectively as possible but now you have seen how easy it is to train uh, the classifier on a new image and use it on the same image and if you we want to segment other images then we just will have to modify these three lines to read the new image into the system segmenting it and write it out so that should be doable